Hi everyone, my name is Miss Hu, also known as Teacher Zian, and I'm a physics teacher. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to convert one prefix to another. Now we all know what a headache it can be to convert one prefix to another. And it's so important that you know how to convert those prefixes, especially when it comes to maths and physics, as well as the other sciences. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest method to convert those different prefixes, simplified by me. First things first, of course, we need to know what the values of those prefixes are. I'm just going to go on to the next slide here. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go through what prefixes are and how to memorize the values. You should already know what prefixes are as well as their respective values. So we're just going to look at how to convert. So let's take a closer look at the values in this table. So in this table, we have a list of common prefixes as well as their values. We've got a symbol on the left column, the name uh, in full in the second column, as well as their values. So in a third column is the multiplication factor written as index numbers. And the last column on the side here are expressed in the decimal value. Now, it is important that we know the factor values here so that it's easier for our conversion. I'm going to focus on the numbers that are represented in the third column over here. So which means you should know how to write these prefix values in terms of 10 to the power of n. All right, so before we begin, let's go through the common way of converting. Now, this is not the method which I uh, really encourage you to use, but you should know that this is the basis of this method. So we have an example over here where we need to convert the value of one megagram to milligram. Okay, big MG and small MG. So of course, in order to convert the prefixes, you should know what all these symbols mean and what their respective values are. We'll need to convert the first unit, which is with the prefix, into the fundamental unit without the prefix, and then convert that into the other prefix, correct? So in order to do this, you of course need to know the value of um, how much gram there is in megagram and how much milligram there is in gram. So I'm just going to show you the long way first. So in the long way, we'd have to do this. So one megagram, as we know, is equal to one times 10 to the power of six grams. And then we need to find out how much is the value of gram to milligram, correct? If you look at the prefix table, it's the other way, correct? So it's one milligram, and we know it's one times ten power of negative three grams. So what you need to do is you need to write out the value of gram in milligram. That means it would be the other way, meaning it would be written like this. Then what you have to do is, I'm just going to make this a bit darker. You have to write out this way. So one megagram is equals to 1 times 10 power of 6 grams. And because we know 1 gram is 1 times 10 power of 3, you'd have to append that to the end of this, which would be times 10 power of 3 milligram. And then you'd get 1 times 10 to the power of 9 milligram. Correct? Or another way to think of it is to take this times 10 power of 6, and then over here times 10 power of 3. So you can do this, of course. Now that you understand this method, here's an even faster method. So here's the shortcut. What you do is you write out the values of the two prefixes given in the question. So the first one, megagram, we know is 10 power of 6. And for milligram, we know is 10 power of negative 3. So think of it this way. This is the first value of the prefix, and then this is the second value of the prefix. What you do is you take the value of the prefix number one and divide it by number two. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, what you do is take the value of number one, which is 10 power of six, and divide it by the second value, which is 10 power of negative three. The number one stays in front. If you know how to work with index numbers, it's really simple now. 10 power of 6 minus negative 3 gives you 1 times 10 power of 9 milligram. There you go. And can you see how this method has sparked this method? So use the same method to solve any question. Let me show you some examples. So again, remember... Take the value of the first prefix and divide it by the value of the second prefix. So I'm going to show you these examples and how quickly we can solve it using this shortcut. So we know that Terra is 
10 power of 12 and kilo is 10 power of 3. So this becomes 1 times 10 power of 12 divided by 10 power of 3. And this gives you 1 times 10 power of 9 kilograms. You can use this method no matter whether you're converting from a higher prefix value, which is the values that are greater than zero, um, you know, and then convert it down to a value that's less than zero or from less than zero to more than zero or, you know, on the same side, the positive numbers. And it doesn't matter. It works in all situations. So, for example, kilogram to teragram, kilo is 10 power of 3, tera is 10 power of 12, and you'll have 1 times 10 power of 3 divided by 10 power of 12. And this gives you 1 times 10 power of negative 9 teragrams. If you're using this method, I'm just going to change color just for the fun of it. You'll have milligram, 10 power negative 3, gigagram, 10 power of 9, and this gives you 1 times 10 power negative 3 divided by 10 power of 9. And this would give you 1 times 10 power of negative 12 gigagram. And for the last question on this slide, 1 gigagram to megagram. Giga, as we know, is 10 to the power of 9, and mega is 10 power of negative 3. So, Keeping the 1 in front, 10 power of 9 divided by 10 power of negative 3. Work this out, you would get 1 times 10 to the power of positive 12 megagram. Now, if you're wondering, what if the number isn't 1? It's still the same thing. For example, like this. Now, I've been using grams all this while because it's a lot easier to work with the prefixes. But remember that prefix can be uh, appended to any unit at all. For example, seconds, ampere, meter, or Kelvin, or even other non-base units. For example, Newton, Pascal, it also works. Now, what if you have a number in front that's not 1? All you do is just keep the number in the front and multiply it in. Let me show you. So, milli, seconds, milli is 10 power negative 3, and micro, we know, is 10 power of negative 6. So, what you do is keep the 50 in front, so it's 50 times. Then take number 1, 10 power negative 3, divided by number 2, 10 power negative 6. And then what you have is 50 times, work it out, you'd get 10 power of 3. Of course, you can't write it in this way. If you remember how to write your standard form, you should get 5 times 10 power of 2 microsecond. It's going to change color just because. And if you have this 1000 km, 2 mm, km, kilometers, K is 10 power of 3, and millimeter is 10 power of negative 3. So you have 1,000, which you keep in front, times 10 power of 3 over 10 power of negative 3. Oops, my 3 has uh, kind of like floated there. So I'm just going to rewrite this in a nicer form. And you have 1,000 times 10 power of 3 minus negative 3, giving you 6. Of course, this is not in standard form, so you'll have 1 times 10 power of 9 mm. Pa to Ta, this is ampere, okay, pico ampere. Pico is 10 power negative 12. Terra is 10 power positive 12. 0 0.06 is kept in the front times number 1, 10 power negative 12 over 10 power of positive 12, giving us 0 0.06 times 10 power of negative 24. Oops, okay. And of course, rewrite this in proper standard form, and this will give you 6 times 10 power of negative 26 teraampere. And in the final example on this slide, let's use, let's use red. So you have uh, centi Kelvin. Centi is 10 power of negative 2, and nano Kelvin. Nano is 10 power of negative 9. So keeping the number 200 in the front, Take the first value of the prefix, 10 power negative 2, divided by the second value of the uh, prefix, second prefix, negative 9, giving us 200 times 10 to the power of, work it out, you would get 10 power of 7. In standard form, 2 times 10 power of 9 nano Kelvin. And yes, it's that simple. So, of course, this is from prefix to prefix. So, if you're wondering, hmm, can we use the same method if we were converting between a prefix unit and a non-prefix unit? Well, yes, you can. Because if we're going to stick to the same method, of course, we want to um, keep it easy for us to remember, correct? So, this is how it works. 
if you find that the unit given does not have a prefix, you write it as 10 to the power of 0. Milli, 10 power of negative 3. So then you do this exact same thing as you did before. So keeping the number in the front, 500, value of the first prefix. In this case, no prefix, so that's why it's 0. So 10 power of 0 divided by 10 power of negative 3. Work it out, you would get 10 power of positive 3. In this case, milli, 10 power of negative 3, and no prefix, 10 power of 0. So 25 times 10 power of negative 3 over 10 power of 0, and it looks like a 6, it's a 0, um, and you would get 2.5 times 10 power of negative 3, um, ampere. Now, of course, in this case, you're probably like, I don't need to work this out, but I'm just showing you that um, you can use the same method as we have been using all this while and it still works. Let's try another one just because. So this has no prefix, so 10 power of 0 and uh, nanoseconds, 10 power negative 9 for nano, giving a 600 times 10 power of 0 divided by 10 power negative 9. And you'd get, work this part out, you would get 10 power of positive 9. In correct standard form, giving us 6 times 10 power of 9 nanoseconds. And finally, at the bottom of this slide, 1500 picogram, which is 10 power of negative 12, to no prefix and power of 0. So 1500 times 10 power of negative 12 over 10 power of 0, giving us 1500 times 10 power of negative 12. And of course, in correct standard form, Oops, my um, pen kind of <laughs> leaked over there. So it gives us 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 9 grams. And there you go. That's the shortcut you can use and it's the easiest way ever to convert those different prefixes. I hope you found this video helpful and educational. Remember to like and subscribe so that you can get more shortcut videos like this to make your life so much easier when it comes to physics. Thanks for watching.